Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about, what am I talking about right now? Oh, <laughs> I have several topics that I'm talking, that I'm about to like just boom, 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 knock out real quick, and I just had a brain fart. But anyways, so I'm going to be talking about how a trans woman decided to out the singer Tank and talk about, you know, bring him into this whole trans attraction subject. Now, since Malik Yoba has came forward and said that he's trans attracted, he has erupted something in the straight and the LGBT community. And a lot of people have been very confused because it's like, what message are you really trying to send? What are you really trying to do? What's the real tea? Because you're not really being full 100% transparent. And what is your end goal? Like, are you trying to get clout? Are you trying to do this? Are you trying to do that? Whatever, whatever, whatever. And there has been a lot of open dialogue, a lot of conversations, a lot of people feeling away. And we're going to get to that in a minute. I've been covering this Malik Yoba topic. But first, I want to talk about this message that was left under one of Malik Yoba's posts. So Malik Yoba came out and as you guys know, he came forward and he said that he had this trans attraction and there was several celebrities and you know, they were, they were lending him support in his coming forward to say that he has this trans attraction. One of the people who came forward to kind of lend him support and telling him like, Hey, you know, love who you love was the singer Tank. Tank decided to back Malik Yoba up under a clip of his Breakfast Club interview. I'm going to play a little piece of the clip that Tank was commenting under, and then I'm going to get into the comment and how a trans person came forward and had something to say about Tank. Right, so for someone like myself who is heterosexual, who loves women, but I love people and I, and I hate to see people suffer. It's really, really basic for me. And so it's not about coming out. It's about stepping up and saying, yo, black man, when Mr. C, when people want to shame Mr. C or they want to shame Eddie Murphy, they want to shame Teddy Pendergrass, they want to shame folk uh, because of their association with folks. I just felt like who else is going to be willing to put a target on their back? Okay, so that is a piece of the clip that Tank commented under. I'm going to play the rest of the clip. It was like a minute and a half, but you know, the Breakfast Club, you got to break it on up because <laughs> they be wilding. But, um, you know, he basically was saying, you know, him as a heterosexual, and he put a lot of emphasis on that, a heterosexual who loves women, um, who else was going to step up and put a target on their back? Then he followed that up with a little bit more dialogue. And here is a little bit more of what he said in the, the clip that Tank commented under. I mean, whether people know or not, I mean, it doesn't, it, it, it's, what, what does that mean? It means I love women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone knows Malik Yoba loves women. Malik has had a lot of women. I love women, period, of the story. But even beyond that, I love people. So I'm going to go to the message and read to you guys uh, what it says. So Tank posted under the thread, and it said, um, do what you like and love who you love. Being happy with your choices is all that matters. Don't let the comment section lead you to believe that most of these people don't do what would be considered weird behind closed doors. And then he put laughing emojis. Well, a transgender woman by the name of the Shauna Brooks, she's verified and out there doing some things. You know what I'm saying? She on New York Fashion Week and, and, and making her rounds. Anyway, so, um, you know, a transgender woman by the name of the Shauna Brooks, she replied to Tank and she was like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, we're just going to stop right there and let's address a couple of things. And I'm like, do y'all want support or do y'all not? It's confusing, but I'm going to carry on. So the Shauna Brooks posted under there. And she said, stop it, Tank. Ever since Sydney Star Bad got to munch on them Pillsbury cakes, now you want to be an advocate for Pandora's Bedroom Chronicles. Love you, though. So at Sydney Star Bad is another transgender woman. And I believe Sydney Star is also on Love and Hip Hop. 
So if you guys watch Love and Hip Hop, you might be familiar with Sydney Starr. She has definitely, you know, been around. The name should be familiar to some, might not be familiar to all, but you know, Sydney Starr is another familiar transgender woman. What's up, honeys? Sydney Starr, the transgender diva in the mother freaking building. I had to look, no shade, but your taste. It wasn't popping for me. You uh -oh. see? So when the Shauna Brooks was telling Tank he was getting his Pillsbury cakes munched on, that's who she was talking about. Oh, so you had dealings with Sydney Star, so now you want to be an advocate, blah, 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 blah. So the trans community is like, you know, they want advocacy, they want support, but I guess they're not here for people just trying to suddenly just hop on the bandwagon or whatever when they wasn't really trying to be about that before. I mean, it's just crazy. So what do you think by the Shauna Brooks claim? She's saying that, you know, he basically, in so many words, got his salad tossed, according to her, by Sydney Starr. If you guys don't remember, Tank went on The Breakfast Club not too long ago, and he professed how much he enjoys getting his salad tossed. Because I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind putting my legs up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's okay. So you, you, don't mind, you don't mind tongue action. Is what yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Okay. Oh, you don't mind getting your ass eaten? Yeah, not at all. Man, Are you I'm kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, man. Get the brothers in here keeping it 100. Get in here. We ain't got a seat, Tank. We ain't got a seat. down. Put your legs and he didn't stop at the breakfast club. He made sure to make another video and make it very clear that it is nothing wrong with a man putting his legs up in the air and letting somebody, you know, feast on his groceries. I had to pull over to the side of the road and talk to y'all for a second. You know, I just think it's a crying shame that in 2016, we have grown men afraid to admit that they like they salad toss. I think it's unfortunate that you are scared to be yourselves. There's nothing wrong with having your salad tampered with every now and then. It doesn't mean that that I like a man because I like my salad toss. Nothing against the guys who like guys. It's just not my thing. But there's nothing wrong with, you know, having your salad, you know, visited every blue moon. It's, it's my motherfucking salad. I can do what I want to do with my salad as long as a woman is involved. That's just how I feel about it. No utensils. No utensils. You know what I'm saying? So just because don't nobody want to go down your nasty ass, old stanky vinaigrette salad, stanky booty ass boy, don't, don't get mad at me. Salad toss on Wednesdays. Just, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just try it. How your woman, you know? wipe you down and okay so that was him making it very clear again you know that there was nothing wrong with him getting his groceries tossed whichever which away he pleases now the clip of him on the breakfast club and the clip of him coming back to you know make it clear that ain't nothing wrong with it was all happening in 2016 so these are clips from 2016 and and um, now, of course, we are in 2019. So on the post where Shauna Brooks said that, you know, he got his groceries munched on by Sydney Starr, that is not the only person who wanted to bring up him and this whole grocery business. Now, the Shauna Brooks made a claim and she made an accusation of a person who actually did it. Well, there was another person on the post who was like, yo, 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 yo. I remember the clip from when you talked about how you like your groceries eaten. And they were saying something along the lines of pretty much that makes him gay. And just to refresh your memory on what he said in support of Malik Yoba so that, you know, basically telling Malik Yoba, you know, like, it's cool, dude. You know, we all got our little quirks. He said, do what you like and love who you love. Being happy with your choices is all that matters. Don't let the comment section lead you to believe that most of these people don't do what will be considered weird shit behind closed doors. So let me share with you the exact comments. And let me tell you, these people were in an uproar and flinging around gay accusations here and there in regards to Tank telling him that he basically needs to come out of the closet as well. So before the Shauna Brooks even commented about Sydney Starr, this woman said, 
Oh yeah, you gay too, mister. I get my salad tossed. We haven't forgot. So Tank seen that and he was not feeling what that person had to say at all. He commented back and said, my lifestyle is way too expensive for you to have an opinion. Talk about things that happen on your level. Be blessed. Who child. So I guess he's saying, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got the amount of money in the bank account, you can't talk about the kinky stuff that he or anybody got going on in their bedroom behind closed doors. I'm guessing. I don't know. Anyways, so there was several people who felt some type of way and came at his head. So a person said, oh, wow, Tank, if it wasn't for us broke people, you wouldn't be living that luxury life of yours. I had liked you until you said that, shaking my head. And we didn't forget you said out your own mouth, you like getting your ass licked. Another person said, this was a fat comment, period. Money, nigga, are you bought and paid for, honey? And I'm pretty sure you gave for pay with your money shit. Everyone gets the bag. Everyone is not on stage to get it. Then another person said, sit your broke A down trying to demean someone about money. You probably one check away. Gay is gay and we been knew you were. So man up and admit to it. We can see right through this frou-frou shit. Other people chimed in to mention him liking his butt toss and saying that he was gay as well. A person said, we all know you go both ways. And then under that, another person commented and said, so you F transgenders too? I have no problem with it, but why hide it for all these years? It doesn't make sense. Hollywood don't discriminate against gays. Okay, and the comment section went on and on and on under this post where he was lending Malik Yoba some support. There is literally over 800 comments under this thread. But after, you know, people were going back and forth with Tank and, you know, talking about him getting his salad tossed and then mad that he was saying that his money bracket was higher for her to, you know, make a comment and this and that and the third. Then after, like, you know, there was so many back and forths then that's when the Shauna Brooks stepped up and that's when the Shauna Brooks mentioned about the situation that allegedly went down between him and Sydney Starr munching on his Pillsbury's cakes in Shauna Brooks words I mean I don't know I want to know what you guys think what do you guys think about the transgender woman now out in tank saying that the other transgender who is on Love and Hip Hop ate his Pillsbury cakes. What do you think about that? What do you think about this whole Malik thing where, you know, Mariah um, outed him and how, you know, the trans community wants acceptance, but then they're outing people. Like, I will share and let you guys know what's going on around social media, but I'm kind of on the fence when it comes to, you know, certain men being out at like, I'm here for the tea, I'm here for the key key, and I'm here for, you know, the gossip of it all and figuring it out what's going on. But I be on the fence because like, on one hand, I want to know the tea, but then on another hand, I think it's kind of wrong that they are outed at the same. Like, I want to know, but then it's like, I don't know. You, if you feel like you are and you identify as being a woman, the trans community has to stop weaponizing what it is. Like, if you deal with a man and you consider yourself a woman and you deal with a man and you consider him heterosexual then when that situation don't work out, why are you guys trying to shame them for being with you? If you feel like a woman and they move on, it should not be no weaponized shame behind it and you shouldn't be outing people. Like that's kind of also like, huh, what? What's really going on? I don't really understand. I don't really like that. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just like a girl a heterosexual girl who has a encounter with a married man. She know he married, knew what the deal was, knew that he wasn't her nigga, 
knew that they wasn't really, you know what I'm saying, on that way. But then if the dude stopped fucking with her, then she want to blow up his spot. Bitch, you knew what it was, what it was before all of that. So don't get mad now and try to blow up the spot. Like, I don't respect stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, the trans community, like, also, like, I feel like they do a disservice when they trying to out everybody, you know, like, it's like, do you want support? Do you not want support? Like, what's the tea? It's kind of hard. Because like I said, I'd be wanting to know the tea and I want, <laughs> like, you know, I feel like people should be out and living their truth. But then I also be feeling like it's wrong. Kind of probably because I feel like the men themselves, like, step up, dude, and live in your truth. If you like that, then you like it. Who cares? I think people get mad when people try to act like it ain't what it is. But I do understand, however, comma, I do understand the, the trans community having a little blowback with Malik Yoba because he's like, oh, I'm trans attracted, but then trying to deny being with the trans and trying to, you know, like, I understand the blowback with that. It's like, do you F with us or not when it comes to the trans? Like, you know, they like, do you like, are you down or are you not down? Like, what are you saying? What are you trying to do? What is your motive? What is, you know what I'm saying? Like you saying you attracted, but then you denying that you fully into it. But then like a lot of people in the trans community know your T and know that you've dealt with trans or whatever. So it's like, what is, what are you really trying to do here? So I do understand the blowback with Malik Yoba, but I'm just talking about as a whole, you know, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of, I don't know. Um, y'all let me know if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're not on my social media, know that this right here is my Instagram, Nick at night underscore. Follow me there. I don't post that much, but I will be posting more. Follow me and I'll have incentive to want to, you know, show off <laughs> you get me you feel me you feel me okay we got all that out the way now i can see what y'all talking about down below <laughs> all right guys peace